for St. Joseph's is a guy after your own heart. Zach Cole leads the nation in faceoff win percentage so far this year. Zach Cole is a consummate professional. He leads by example. He's not a loud guy. He just gets it done on the field, and everybody wants to follow the man who starts the game with the wins. He is going to be a terror the entire way, and St. Joe's going to go as far as he goes. Look at this perfect example of this matchup. Drexel's won 25 of 28 meetings between these two teams. And now you have an opportunity. This St. Joe's program, this could be the turning point. This is where you start to steal those recruits from other schools. This is where you start to make your run. So this could be huge. At the face-off X, Cole, of course, for St. Joe's. Liam Rosado, the junior out of Plymouth, meeting at Pennsylvania, is the starting face-off man for Drexel. And as expected, Cole wins the opening draw. And eight goals back in 2019. Actually scored against Drexel the last time these two teams played back in 2020. As Cole has to battle a bit more for this ground ball, but he wins it. And that's the cool thing about Cole is you can't really... Great takeaway. Yeah, Patrick Udovic. The thing about Drexel last year that we're saying about St. Joe's right now. They were getting the job done on all parts of the field. The defense was phenomenal. They had great chemistry on offense. Here with those short stick matchups is Brent McVicker, one of the standout short stick D middies for Drexel. Another guy out with an injury as they win a face off on the run, shot high by Rosado. It's a great win. If Zach Cole has any weakness in his game, it's when he does get in a lockup, he tends to drop his butt and rotate. And with standing neutral grip, if you pull it out as he does that, you're going to be able to get some breaks here and there. Came off a four-goal performance. That was a career best against you, Albany. He scored three more in his debut against Lafayette. Had two points over the weekend, and now he's got one. And I think we're going to get a push. I give a lot of credit. Season. Obviously, that was the last one in Furman Paladin lacrosse history. There's a face-off win for the Hawks. And Cole wins it forward. Back-to-back -back face off wins after he lost three straight. Wide open shot, just one. Really quick, smart, decisive decisions with the ball. Colin Reich picking up the assist there on the second goal for McLaughlin. Now Mike Lentz cold. At the face-off X for Drexel, Cole wins it again. And he is out. McGill is in. Doesn't really matter who's been in, who is going to be in cage so far. St. Joe's has been getting some quality looks, and they get another face-off win. Go back to Lentz Cole. Drexel does the face-off X against Cole. Had a chance for that ground ball, instead picked up by against UMBC. You mentioned Drexel, they lost to UMBC to start off the year, then to Lafayette. Back-to-back -back wins against UAlbany and LIU to win two in a row coming into today. Look out, long goal run for the Dragons as they had cut this back to a three-goal game. That's Aiden Shortly out there at the face-off X for Drexel. He loses another half. We've got ourselves a game, man. These are two teams that it feels like can score. They can go back and forth. We've seen it so far this first half. Grippo able to scoop up a ground ball. There's a face-off win for the Dragons. Skip pass out top. Semple trying to get a shot. Dodge, it's forcing. St. Joe's to come out, and that's how they're getting their ball movement. You remember, this is a Drexel team that came within a couple of goals of beating Notre Dame in the NCAA tournament last year. They were a tie game with about a minute and a half to go in the first round of the NCAAs, and they brought a lot back from that roster. So this is a talented team, just hasn't quite found the rhythm yet this year as Cole wins another faceoff, speaking of rhythm. Jack Mulcahy today, so he's got four points as Cole wins the face-off forward, looking for an answer. But he's just as effective. Face-off win for the Hawks, 24 seconds to go, and they turn it over. 
I think Coach Walker's just waiting for them to believe it. Aiden shortly back out of the faceoff X for the Dragons to face Zach Cole. Cole had that ground ball for a second. Now he gets his wing to pick eyes that Brian Volker, in talking this week, said he, he's waiting for guys like Mulcahy, Janor, Donnelly to step up. They're starting to do it here in the last couple of quarters. Matched up with one of the best names in all of college lacrosse, Cole Sprinkle. Cole wins a face-off, shot wide. Down and catch and receive for the shot. Sis goes to Matt Bomer. Rosado had it for a second, now the loose ball scooped up. Opportunity for Grippo, bounce shot goes high. Playing like an all-CAA performer that he was a year ago. Second team all-CAA last year when he put up 30 points. Cole goes right in and answers the face-off man with his second goal of the season. Zach Cole is a special athlete. I've known him for years. And what Zach Cole has, it can't be taught. You can't go to Zach Cole and say, hey, teach me how to be like you on face-offs. It's like, well, outwork everybody in the weight room, outwork everybody on the field, take it really serious, and be a superior athlete. Just can't teach that. Yeah, we were talking to Taylor Ray about him, and he's like, you know, they went to standing neutral grip for the rule change, and the entire offseason prior to last year, he was... William King, the native of Columbia, South Carolina. What a story he is. First ever guy from his high school to hand in his face. It's a new career high in points for Jack Mulcahy. He had five points three different times, including once against U Albany earlier this year. But they look great. Cole just forgot the ball there. He won the clamp, just didn't pick it up. Big hit. Hope you had the over in this one. 14 to 12 with a minute to go, still in just the third quarter. Got a violation on Cole, so Drexel. All sorts of fireworks. We've had goals galore throughout, including a combined 10 goals in that third quarter. Leading to a two-goal Hawks lead as Cole gets called for another violation. It's been really sharp for both teams today. Also, good ball movement. We've seen both execute well around the crease. And this time, the push will go the other way. Cole got away with a little, going a little early on that one. So two goals in the first minute as Rosado wins it cleanly forward. Rosado, the junior, with his first career goal. What a take. Took a shot, too. I thought he was the most effective guy they used in the first half. It's good to see him getting his shot to continue. Yeah, it takes a shot right there. I'll make it three goals in the first minute of the fourth quarter. Cole wins it now. Nice job there by Jack Farrell, the long. They're all square back at 15 apiece. Cole wins another faceoff. He's staying on, keep an eye on Jack Mulcahy continues his career day, now with his career best eight points. Loose off the faceoff. Cole trying to deflect it over to himself. He's got a beat on it. He goes down. And it's a loose wow. ball push on Drexel. Man, that is tough. In a game this big. It's eighth and ninth of the season. Donnelly with another assist. 
But the X factor here at the X continues to be Zach Cole, and I believe for real. Deflects yeah. back to you, you switch hands, and then you rip it again. So it ends the Drexel run. Back to a one goal game, and Cole wins another faceoff. We got three minutes to go. Our heads in this. So St. Joe's answers the bell, and Cole wins it again. This goals. Talking to Brian Volker about his game and how important he is, and he is coming up in the big moments here down the stretch. Cole quickly wins it back to himself. Now he's got to get around some defenders. St. Joe's does still have a timeout. They opt to not to use it.